be uh, broadcasted uh, for those of you who are following me. Thank you very much for joining. Recovery efforts are, uh, you know, obviously continuing here. Um, they've already started taking away a lot of debris um, and trying to fill back in between the boards. Today is a uh, day 18. Still no power, no uh, natural gas for a lot of buildings. Um, the larger buildings, which are um, HUD-based buildings, which you see, what you're actually going to see right over here, are already have power, um, which is you know, great news for them. Still, I'd say probably 95 to 97 percent of the area of Rockaway Beach is still without power. Um, LIPA has decided, which is Long Island Power Authority, has decided to uh, deploy new policy, you know, policy and procedures, you know, bureaucracy. Um, basically where you cannot have your power back on until your entire building, whether you're on the second or third floor, has been inspected and certified. So again, it just takes more time to get our power back on. Previously before, I've, uh, I've actually broadcasted from here as well in th this particular area, and this was just huge chunks of boardwalk. Uh, you can see that they're actually making a lot of a lot of progress, cleaning things up. Um, you can still see some of the, you know, the trees that are tattered and damaged, scaffolding torn down. It's been a tough 18 days. It really, really has. Um, it's just you know you, you, can, you can only imagine unless you live here. You can't really imagine or you've been through this before. Uh, President Barack Obama, um, he was actually visited New York yesterday. He actually uh, went, um, flew over Breezy Point, and then went over to Staten Island. Now listen, I'm, I'm not trying to say that you know no one else was hit harder than us. Um, everyone is, was personally affected in more ways than one. But you know, Rockaway Beach is kind of in you know self-sufficient in some ways, um, as far as being able to uh, you know just have neighbors helping neighbors and survive you know um i know a lot of other people from new jersey and staten island they were hit hard but uh you know just from day one you know rockaway beach has kind of been set on our own i mean you know it took seven eight days before any of these heavy machinery got even got it to even start the cleanup effort so it's it's been roughly you know i don't know 10 days maybe they've been doing this cleanup I'm gonna make I make my way uptown for uh, those of you just joining. Um, again, I'm doing this all so, you know, all on foot, straight street walking here. Um, I think it's fair so that uh, you know I'm not just sitting in one cherry picked spot. You know, uh, uptown, downtown, the whole Rockway Peninsula. You know, we received a, a lot of damage, a lot of devastation. I think you know the, the, the biggest reason for why I'm doing this is not just to show you the devastation. Um, I really want to try to you know, get some personal accounts of people that are willing to talk. Um, let everyone know that we're still here. You know, we're you know we're fighting on a daily basis to try to, you know, rebuild, recover, overcome. Another thing that we have going around going on around here is uh, we have our own uh, own term that has been coined by the uh, the press. It's called the Rockaway Cough. From all the silt and all the sand that you're st that, that has spilled out on the roads all around here throughout Rockaway, uh, it kicks up a lot of very fine uh, fine silt and dust. So a lot of people have colds. A lot of people have like a ha a hacking croup um, croup cough. You got obviously probably hear I'm a little nasal. A lot of people lost their homes. A lot of people are just emotionally scarred. You know, this is, you know, it's just, it's been, it's been a traumatic experience. You know, Rock, Rockaway Beach was a, it was a bustling, bustling shore town. Even, even in the wintertime, you'd still see people out here walking around on the beach and, I 
it's just, it's a, it's a terrible thing that's happened. I want to make my way close over here to where the uh, tattered boardwalk was. All these concrete piers once had boardwalk that stretched for miles. As you see this, I mean, you can see that you know our, our community is destroyed. This is our economy. You know, it's it's bad enough that we're we're going through a recession, but. This is our economy, this is our, 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 our likelihood, our livelihoods here. See, they've already started filling in the, uh, filling in with sand and things like that. I don't want to break my ankle here. Children's toys washed away. This is what our beach is now. Those of you joining me, I, I really appreciate it. You know, the, the, the press really isn't giving us a lot of, uh, the press isn't really giving us a lot of uh, coverage. Um, other areas are getting it, but uh, we, I kind of feel a little neglected. Uh, not I, me, but our, our town. If you'd like to, you know, contribute and help Rockaway Beach uh, you know, with the recovery and relief efforts, uh, in the description of this event, you'll actually find the link to uh, the Occupy Sandy donation page. You can uh, make a donation, and that money will go back to helping restore Rockaway to its greatness. Current right now, there's 11 of you online. Thank you so much for joining me. Really appreciate it. I apologize if I'm not uh, very uh, too enthused or... And it's just, it's been a really tough 18 days, I mean, I can only imagine. You know, this family has kind of lost their lives. Right over here, this is a piece, this was once was, was a uh, part of the children's playground, that piece of concrete with those red pipes sticking out. Just all gone, destroyed. Today is kind of a, an eerie day. You know, it's mostly cloudy. Thank you so much for joining me. If, uh, if you, you haven't already, you can follow me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Donald.Divanzo. If you guys actually go and uh, if you follow my Facebook, there's actually pictures of where I'm going to right now. This very area that I'm walking through right this second, I took a picture, uh, I think it was like the day or two after the hurricane had hit us. And this whole area was just filled with wood debris and rubble. But the amazing part here is that the, the, the Welcome to Rockaway Beach sign, that actually st it managed to stay up. It was... An incredible feat, considering about how how much uh, how much uh, rubble and debris from the boards that were just sitting right here, and it managed to survive. Which is that in itself was uh, it's, a, it's a sign of uh, you know, that we will, that Rockaway Beach will rebuild. But this whole area right here was just filled with just a huge pile of debris, chunks of boardwalk. <laughs> 